Hi guys, welcome to my Skywatch 2's videos. This is Robin, and uh, we're still working on the box 118. It's a Shop Goodwill box, so let's see what else we have. We have these two necklaces, this nice wire collar necklace, and this beautiful sparkly netted necklace, netted crystals. This is in really good shape looking to see if there were any marks on it but I don't see any I don't know if it's magnetic or not let's see yes it is but very pretty looks very pretty around the neck and it looks very modern and we'll do this one for four dollars let's see if this bag's big enough yes let you look at it. I'm not sure what size neck it will fit, but I could do a measure across. And that is going to be about four and a half inches. Four dollars. Very good condition. Everybody's having a good day today. It's a little overcast here, but not cold. Here's the lobster claw class with an extender, and it's the netted crystals. You can see them on the inside. Isn't that beautiful? This necklace is, let's see, it is 22 inches. And we'll do that one for four dollars. You're supposed to see that part while well, I do this part. It's like a very pale yellow. Five. Tarnished 925. Okay, here's our next two necklaces. We have this pretty cross with CZs on a 925 chain that's 18 inches. And then we have this bone necklace on a cord. Here's your cross. I'm checking to see if I see any. There's no missing stones. It's a very pretty set. Baguettes and round cuts. Here's your back. I didn't see anything on that. If it was marked anything on the sides. Oh, come on. But it's very beautiful. No tarnish on it at all. So I don't know if that's stainless steel or is it rhodium plated silver. I'm not sure. I am sure about the chain. It's a box chain that's silver tone. It is tarnished. The little clasp and the chain are both marked 925 Italy. Well, the clasp is marked 925, but this says, oh, you have it upside down. 925 Italy, and let's just get it up a little bit so you can really see it. And then the clasp has a 925 there. And get you a little closer look at the box chain style. And you can see it is equally tarnished. So, I'm not going to shine it up. 
and it's 18 inches. And we'll do this one for 15. It's beautiful. You know, every, something always happens water-wise when we get ready to have a vacation and uh, our little sink, it, the kitchen, the faucet, the tip came off. So now it splatters when you turn the faucet on and we haven't been able to fix it or find a replacement for it. Bone, carved, fish, on a nice cotton cord with some wood beads up here. Cotton cord, black. It is adjustable. You can make it shorter. Right now, the way it's adjusted, it is 26 inches. And we'll do this one for three. It's a cute piece. You can look at Mr. Cutie. He's uh, fairly long. He's Almost two inches. I don't think you can see that. Now I forgot what I said it was. Hmm. Go back and look in the video. Okay. Pretty piece. This is an ooh la la piece. It's a piece I don't want to say. Oh, see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Put it up a little higher here. Even the smudge of the hand can't. Take down the shine of that. Okay. Here's our next two necklaces. We have this one, the rings and the circle. Open ring and closed circle with rhinestones on a gold tone chain, beaded chain. And then this beauty on a gold tongue chain. This one has a lobster claw clasp and extender. Here's your beaded chain. And it comes down to these two pieces. As soon as I get it right. Sorry for the noise, guys. There we go. Sometimes it's a struggle. Let's see. The length on this at its shortest is fully extended. It's 20 inches. And the extender is 3 inches. We'll do this beauty for $3. And it's a beauty. I love that double layer look with those circles and rhinestones and I like the beaded chain the texture of that too it's very pretty and this gorgeous piece has a lobster claw clasp and extender with a little bead I'd say a three inch extender beautiful um, Rollo chain, very long, gorgeous, shiny piece. That is just gorgeous. Nice veil. Ooh, that's gorgeous. The length on it is 
35 inches. And we'll do this one for 15. He's cooking me some lunch, and I greatly appreciate it. All right. I have this cute little barrette here, a pearl barrette. It's in good condition, works well. We'll do that for two. Have this little teddy bear and cat pendant. I mean, pen. It's about hmm, four to six and a half. That'd be two and a half inches. That way, five and a half inches. I mean, one and a half inches that way. We'll do that for a dollar. Very cute. Love their expressions on their face. Have a little rotating 19. It looks like it might have had stones in it. I don't know. Or, yeah, 19. Sorry about that. Nice keychain piece. We'll do that for $2. We'll throw this one in with it. A gold tone one. Supporting education since 1988, the Florida Lottery. Yeehaw. Those are two dollars for both. Ooh, maybe that's the number you should play for the Powerball. And then also the number two. How about that? Is there a pick two? I don't know. This is, I'm not sure what it is, but it's Hello Kitty. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We'll do that for three. Still in its package. Those in the know will know what it is. And if you know what it is, let me know. It's, this little ring can... See, it's got a little ring with a stone. That's not going to fit. Let's see. Will this fit? Yes, maybe. Yeah, sort of. All right. The Hello Kitty piece, but I'm not sure what it goes to or what it's used for. Almost looks like it's a thing where you'd stick on your phone, but I don't think it has any stick on it. On the back, I don't know. Here's a cute Valentine's piece, a little brooch. Here's the back. It's in very good condition. Don't see any signature on it, but beautiful red rhinestones. We'll do that one for four. Let's do three. We'll do three on this. And will I ever find a bag for it? Y'all just have to be patient with me. There you go. You can be looking at it. About two inches from there to there and from here to here it's about an inch and a quarter no an inch and a half and we're gonna go three very pretty we even have rhinestones at the tip here
Let's see. Let's do a little hobby piece, hobby bag. Here's some beads. I believe they're wood. Here's some little charms with C and H. Here is a necklace. And though it is kind of tarnished, it's got a brand on it, Fossil. But it's very tarnished. And it's but it's got this cute little key and lock and then wishing you the key to success, to happiness, to the life you've always imagined. So we're gonna put that in there. We have a little toggled heart necklace, but the heart is a little grunged. Let's say grunge, that's popular in the art world. Doing a grunge journal. There you go. We have this interesting piece. Not missing any stones. It's got this beautiful tassel. But it looks like it was maybe double chained and the chain broke because you have these that hang down. Like that. And this part is fine. Add that in there. And I really don't have the time to fix this, though I wanted to. I showed it earlier. So gorgeous for Valentine's. Maybe you can take this off and put it on. Well, doesn't matter because you're still going to be missing that. This, but you can take this off maybe and use this chain for something else. And we're going to do this lot here for five dollars. It's a hobby lot. That means it won't be cleaned, fixed. It's for you to craft with. Five dollars. Some really nice pieces in there, though. Beautiful rhinestones. Never have enough rhinestones. Okay. That was fun. Next we have, have you gotten these bracelets that were too short and they had two um, lobster claws at the end? Well, there's four swap watches. You swap them out to whatever you're wearing that day. So this is a swap watch. It's not running. Best I know. Yeah, you'd have, you can set it, but it wasn't running. Because that second hand would be moving. Might need a new battery. And, uh, well, it does it needs a new battery for sure. But I can't guarantee it works without testing it, and that requires me to put a battery in it. So, uh, if you want a battery in this, because you have a lot of these and you would like to have a nice watch, because this is a nice one, it's easy to read, uh, we'll add an extra $5 for the battery, but as it is now, it is uh, $8. And you can put the battery in, and I guarantee if somebody does it for you, it may not be $8. It might be, I mean, for $5. It's 8 without battery. And 13 with battery. And it, then if it doesn't work, I can tell you, and you don't have to pay the 13, but if it works, well, it's on the way to your house. We went and bought all the tools and have bought batteries and everything, so our jeweler charges us $10 to change a battery. So to give you some idea.
have these little pendants, little hearts. Florida State University charm, 1851. This is a glass piece. Very pretty purple. Purple glass. And no problem. And this looks like it's gold. So let me look at this. Yes, it's 14 karat gold. I'm going to keep it. Right here. I think it says it. Yep, 14 karat. So uh, let me think about that one. I like to say my pleasure versus no problem when somebody says thank you. So I'm not really, really... Uh, of no problem but I'm going to keep it right now and because uh, I don't really know what to price it but we'll do these pieces these little charm pieces or pendant pieces whatever you want to use them for we'll do those for a dollar very cute We're going to end it right here. We've still got bracelets and earrings and other things to show. So uh, stay tuned and thank you for spending your time with us. We really appreciate it. Re really appreciate it. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you like these kind of videos. And you would like to be notified when we're putting another video up. So thank you guys. Have a great evening and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.